So then I told him, if you don't get off my foot right now, we're going to have problems. Uh -huh. Oh, hey there, tater tots. I'm back at the starter house from episode one, and today I'm going to tackle one of the most important early game resource multipliers, an iron farm. But first, I have to get my morning chores done. I have a whole lot of work to do today, and I can't forget to feed the cattle and tend to the garden. Oh, my first beetroot. That gives me an idea for later. But of course, I couldn't leave without giving some love to Spuddy. He's such a good boy. Before building the iron farm, I had to prep the area to make a nice flat space to work with. I don't need a huge amount of iron in the near future, but it would be nice to let it run in the background while I work on other things. Eventually, I'll need lots of hoppers for other farms, and I'll be glad that I got this built right away. By the way, if you're still here, thank you so much. If you stay till the end of this episode, we're going to shake it up this time. I'm going to show you a picture of some puppies. The farm design I'm using is from Shulkercraft, and I'll leave a link in the description for their tutorial. I made a couple of modifications to it, but mainly around the methods for transporting and killing the golems, along with how the loot is being collected. For the build itself, I used what I had on hand, which was mainly stone bricks. I was able to use the sand that I got from cleaning up the beach in front of my house in the last episode to encase the villagers in glass. As always, the hardest part about making this farm was dealing with the villagers. I finally got them in their places and found a zombie who was willing to pick up items since I hadn't gotten a name tag yet in this world. So there, I've got the basic iron farm going and it's trickling in nicely. And what's the only thing better than having an iron farm? Having two iron farms, that's right. I can't leave it looking like such an eyesore on my beautiful island though, can I? While I thought of some decoration and building ideas, I visited all the villagers trapped in their houses to make sure they were okay. Most of them were pretty upset about being locked up, but hey, what can you do? Then I suddenly got an idea for a building around the iron farm. I was really excited until I realized that I don't have the materials I need to make this happen. This ambitious build idea could only be solved by going on another adventure to strange new lands. And so I did what anyone would do. I jumped in my boat and decided to head west. Why west? I have no idea. I came across a jungle where I snagged some bamboo for scaffolding, cocoa beans, and then some jungle saplings for my future needs. Then I headed to the mountaintops in search of a cherry grove. I've never actually seen one in game before and I had no idea how absolutely stunning they are. Cherry groves give off such an awesome vibe. I grabbed a few logs and some saplings and continued on. I passed so many villages while looking for all the new biomes and as I crested a hill and saw another, I decided I had to loot it. Why not? I went into the blacksmith shop and got a great idea when I saw a saddle in the chest. Since I'm already so far from my island and I have no idea how much further I need to go, some faster transportation could make things much easier. Finally, I found what I was looking for, the Mesa. I think it's called the Badlands now, but it'll always be the Mesa to me. This is one of the only ways to get your hands on terracotta, and I needed a bunch of it for what I wanted to do. Oh wow, look at that. That is cool. And there's a minecart track thing that goes through it. That is cool. And I really wish I could build in the mesa. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. But I just feel like I feel like I'd mess it up. Oh man, guys. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that brings back memories. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Oh, I can't do it. It's too early. Like, look, it's way too early for this. I have to, right? This is an adventure. Okay, so I have to be strategic about this. The last time I tried to do this was in episode one of my last hardcore world. Go watch it to see exactly what happened. And uh, all I tried to do, because I didn't have anything, I tried to pillar up and just get to the top that way, and it was a complete fail. So this time, I need to be more strategic. And I'm thinking, oh man, they're already on me. They're already on me. I can't even explain it. I can't even explain Okay, we're just going to go in. We're just going to go in. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> got my dirt to block it off like so boom oh almost boom haha <laughs> now they can't get me unless there's some hiding in here but usually there's not let's close these off too anybody up here anybody up here nope we're good here keep going all the way up nope <laughs> we're gonna get there anybody no okay what do we have what do we have what do we have Ooh, some smithing templates that's awesome uh 
not really anything else that I need, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, so this was kind of a bust. I don't think I got hit at all on my way here. It, it, these guys keep peeking over the side trying to shoot me. But I need to get over there. So I'm thinking, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, that's going to be so bad if it doesn't work out. Okay. <gasps> let's go. Got it. Okay, get out of the way. 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 Oh, still unhit. Still unhit. They haven't gotten me. How is this possible? How is this possible? Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave all the way over. Oh my goodness. They're probably chasing me. I don't want to look back. I don't want to look back. <laughs> all right. So as I enter this thing, I've really got to look out for creepers because uh, creepers are always waiting for me in these things. Got it. Okay. No creepers. No creepers. No creepers. Okay. Let's, let's block this off. Is there any way to get in here? I don't think so i think we're safe here i'm gonna block this off and then it's nighttime, so i'm gonna go to sleep ah brand new day perfect so i did add a couple of torches in here just in case because i didn't want them the creepers creeping while i was sleeping you know what i mean okay so let's uh here's the way that i like to do it to do one of these numbers like that okay perfect perfect and a lot of people staircase this i don't staircase it i just i just go straight down and then we'll get that. Now we are safe. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? More smithing templates. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. Oh, my first emerald. That's pretty cool. And another golden apple. I am doing good on golden apples. This is pretty sweet. Okay. So not that great of a haul. If I'm being honest here, it's basically the stuff in the bottom row. I did get two new saddles, which, oh my goodness, I forgot the horse. That's much better. Let's get home. I brought the horse back to where he came from and thanked the villagers for letting me borrow him. At long last, I made my way back home with full pockets and my thirst for adventure fully quenched. Or so I thought. Here you go, Spuddy. Now that the adventure is out of the way, I need to get some mining done for the iron farm and I need a whole lot of blocks. First, I need to make a few more iron pickaxes. Probably a good idea to trade my gold helmet in for an iron one as well. I saw this huge cave not too far from here and I thought it would be fun to explore it instead of staircasing down and branch mining like I usually do. With any luck, we might even find some diamonds. Oh, look, we've got someone to welcome us. Oh, this is great. Oh, that was close. Oh my goodness. I've got to be careful around here. Hey there, fella. Thank you. Ooh, I actually need a lot of this. Get, get. That's right. Oh man, look at this, guys. You see over there? Diamonds. And then you see over there? Diamonds. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, can he catch it without it falling in the lava, please? Yes. Here we go. Yes. Nom, 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 nom. And two more. Ho, 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 ho. I definitely need redstone. <laughs> I definitely need redstone. Jeez, I need to do this kind of mining more often. This is awesome. Much better than branch mining. You just look around these giant caves and there's diamonds everywhere. Look at that. There's two more. And a, a guard. A, or a couple of guards. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Get back. Get back. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Get him. Haha, <laughs> he got you. Oh, 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 there's another one. Oh, jeez. That always scares me. But I'll take these. Oh, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many diamonds am I up to now? I, now look, guys. Look, hold on, hold on. Let's do this thing. Okay, so I've only been in the cave for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, if that. This is awesome. Oh, he's got the high ground. Ugh. Get out of here. Yeah, who's got the high ground now? Uh, oh, come, get, get, get. Ugh. There, gotcha. Whew. So I ended up taking four separate trips down to that cave system to get resources. And can you believe I left the last time with 34 diamonds? Even with that, I was happy to be back home to share my adventures with my best pal. Spuddy, I'm home! 
You won't believe how scary those creepers were. But look at this. We are filthy rich. Are you hungry? Oh, here you go. I have one more place I need to go for for a few resources. And if you thought the caving was dangerous, that was nothing. Yep, it's time to go to the nether for the first time. Before I do that, though, I really need to upgrade my gear. This iron just isn't going to cut it. Man, I love the look of diamond armor when you put it on for the first time. I'm not done here, though. I've been saving up all the leather from the cow crusher and growing some sugar cane behind the house. If I've got enough of both, I can get my enchanting on. There's the enchanter. And there's all the bookshelves. I think this calls for a basement. By the way, if you can't tell already, I'm starting to get a little bit sick, so just bear with me, please. So I hollowed out a quaint little space under the starter base to use as an enchanting room. So there we have it. This is our enchanting room right here. It's really nice. I, I, it's quaint. It's quaint, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's really quaint for what we're doing here. This is our starter base, though, so I don't feel bad about it. As you can see, it's just a base. Ace, hey, buddy. It's just a basement to our normal level here. We come down, and this is all it is. Very simple. Uh, it's got a couple of barrels for storage. It's got the grindstone in the back but this should be awesome. And through the magic of editing, I also added a crafting table. I can't believe I forgot that. But, uh, so here's the thing. Like, you can see we've got 30 levels, um, but I want to be able to, I, I don't have ready access to experience. I don't have like an XP farm or anything like that. So what I want to do right now is just get some basic enchants on this thing. So like protection, uh, that sort of thing. So maybe we'll go for that. There we go. Perfect. So this would be awesome. Oh, Feather Falling 2. That's actually great. That's really good. And it's got Protection 2. Those are good boots, especially for starting out. And now I've got Protection 1 on the legs. That'll work just fine. I'm not going to do my helmet yet, I don't think. I really want Fire Protection. Okay, let me cycle these trades a little bit and see if I can get some Fire Protection on the helmet. There we go. Fire Protection 2. Awesome. Awesome. So I've got Fire Protection I've got protection one. I've got protection two. I'm not going to use that. Uh, protection two and feather falling two. That was awesome. Uh, protection one. I've got some sharpness on my sword, some efficiency on pickaxe. So just very basic stuff. We've got 16 levels left, but this will be perfect for going into the nether for the first time. So there, I've got plenty of food. I've got uh, my sword. I've got, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm scared, guys. So I kicked my fears to the curb, hiked up my boots, and went into the nether. Oh, man. Goodness. Great. Oh, jeez. Look at those guys. <laughs> oh, I love this. So I, I, I added uh, fresh animations, and these guys look so cool. He looks like an, an undead zombie kind of thing. That's awesome. So this spawn area is actually perfect, by the way. Everything that I need can be done right here. So this will be a really quick nether trip, which is good because I was really afraid of this first nether trip. So I need to go over into this crimson forest. And the main, oh, look, and there's a, uh, what, a uh, warped, warped over there. That's awesome. That's, uh, this is going to be really cool. The first thing I decided to check off my shopping list was the crimson stem. Why not? It was right there. Then I took out a cluster of glowstone, which would be crucial for the iron farm building. I also remembered that my levels were still really low, so I saw some nether quartz and said, why not? I dug down to bedrock and just picked a direction to search for basalt. It took me a while and my diamond pick was pretty much busted, but luckily I was able to pick up plenty of gravel and netherrack on the way. All in all, this was a really easy nether trip. I took one last look around and then went back home. So now that we've got everything ready to go, it's time to build the iron factory. Let's do this. We got lost on an adventure, went mining for what felt like forever, and almost died several times, then got geared up and explored the nether for the very first time in this world, all to get the materials required for this factory. To top it all off, I put a giant beetroot on the front. My buddy Total would be very pleased. So there, as you can see, I did a little bit of terraforming down at the bottom there, got some boulders, some trees, a little bit more grass, that sort of thing. But if we look inside, and we go right up here. Uh, okay, so I'm not super happy about the interior interior for this. It works, don't get me wrong. Like, it absolutely works. Now I need to do something about this glass thing going on. Hold on. 
There, that's much better. That's absolutely much better. And I had to do the trap doors here because I didn't want to do straight glass blocks all the way up uh, because you just don't get that much room, if that makes sense. So I wanted to use the glass panes, but then they were getting stuck on the corners of the glass block, so I had to do the trap doors. Anyway, let's look to see... Oh man, they're still coming down. Let's look to see how we're doing here. Oh man. Oh man, we are doing really good. One thing that I didn't do, as you can see here, perfect example, is I didn't filter out the poppies. Maybe that's something I'll do in the future, but I've got an app for that. Because look over here, I can just drop them in here and we're going to get a lot more bone meal. And that'll be really nice. It's uh, semi-automatic. It's really manual, but we'll call it a semi-automatic bone meal farm. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm really liking this. More iron than I'm going to need for a while already. And that's just building this building pretty much. So I know, I know what you guys are all asking. Like, Tater, I just don't get what the beetroot's for. Well, if you uh, do a quick Google search like I did, uh, you will learn that beetroot is actually a really good source of iron. So, uh, you might say it's the best source of iron in the game, as far as food stuff goes. So as promised, here's some puppies. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.